Proof 6 9 was a part of Pop Smoke Death. Takashi 6 9 made major headlines ever since he came onto the scene. Now, after being released from prison, the rainbow haired rapper has gone back to his old ways of causing trouble online. Recently, we have found out some shocking news behind the death of Pop Smoke. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to ensure that you never miss a video. The tragic passing of Pop Smoke came with a lot of rumors, and after the case took a long break, many believe that some pieces to the puzzle have been revealed. The case was left in the dark for months after the coronavirus came around. With the virus came the early release of one of America's most viral rappers, Takashi69. Takashi has also had many fishy things going on in his past. The rapper was arrested for his gang affiliation in New York. Although it may seem far-fetched, news has recently been leaked about the possibility of 6 ix case being linked to the murder of Pop Smoke. Pop was reaching a hot point in his career after only blowing up on the scene two years prior to his death. 6 9 has been in the game for a while now, stirring up internet drama and releasing viral music. Nonetheless, the problematic rapper may have something new on his hands to deal with. Thanks for tuning in today at Lime Report, where we will be covering proof that 6 9 was part of Pop Smoke's death. Watch until the end to find out how Takashi 6 9 may be directly involved with the murder of the young Brooklyn rapper, Pop Smoke. Do you think that Takashi 6 9 was let off the hook too easily by the feds? Let us know what you believe in the comment section below. Pop Smoke was killed in cold blood back in February this year. His death was a sudden shock and a disappointing loss for the music industry. The rapper had been on a hot streak before passing and it all took place while another Brooklyn-born rapper, Takashi 6 9 was incarcerated. Many details are yet to be known on the suspicious case that is Pop Smoke's murder. The rapper had been out that night, returning late at night to the four-bedroom Spanish-style house where he was staying in the Hollywood Hills. Around four in the morning, soon after he came home, the police said four men in hoodies broke in and shot the Brooklyn-born rapper twice. A bullet to the torso left the promising 20-year-old musician dead. He had recently turned 20 and released his second album, Meet the Woo 2, back in July of 2019. Weeks and months after his death, the Los Angeles Police Department are still trying to untangle whether Pop Smoke, whose real name was Bashar Jackson, was the victim of a random robbery or if he was targeted, perhaps because of what he was posting on social media. There have been no arrests. Continue watching as things begin to get fishy as police gather evidence. In the weeks before his death, Pop Smoke had posted pictures on Instagram showing him next to and holding large stacks of cash. One such picture was posted the day before he died. He also posted about a gift bag he had received in which the address of the Hollywood Hills home was clearly visible. Nonetheless, Pop was just living the rapper lifestyle and entertaining his fans. The rapper achieved a lot in his short career and would show his gratitude for the expensive home he lived in and clothes he wore. It's an angle we're looking at, Captain Jonathan Tippett said of Pop Smoke's Instagram posts. It also extends the pool of people that would have known where he was and could have targeted him for a variety of reasons, he continued. This, though, would not be the biggest threat to Pop Smoke, surprisingly enough. Watch until the end to find out what exactly became the main focus point in the murder of Pop Smoke. Pop's entire murder case has left fans in the dark. It has not been visited much since the coronavirus came about and put things on hold. The case continues to get more sketchy after questions were raised about Pop Smoke's entourage. While there were other people in the house, Captain Tippett said that Pop Smoke was alone in one part of the home when the intruders found him. He was the only person who was shot at. With the rapper being the only person shot out, there were a lot of questions left unanswered. Some items were taken, Captain Tippett said, but there were also standard signs of a robbery that were absent, particularly ransacking. The intruders would have had to travel through some portion of the house before they found him, but they did not pull the place apart looking for valuables along the way. There were a couple of items that were taken, but some of the things you would think would be taken weren't even really looked for, Captain Tippett said. So that's why we're not really saying that it was a robbery or that he was the intended target. A theory broke out saying that the murder had to be targeted since the attackers only shot two times in the home, both times hitting Pop Smoke. Also, if it were to be a robbery, the home would have been run through and torn apart looking for items. Police say that there were a number of valuables in plain sight, but the intruders left with very little. The killers messed up as it seems like the murder was most likely set up to look like a robbery as a cover-up. Who would want to cover up a targeted homicide with a coincidental street robbery, though? 
Continue watching to find out. Pop Smoke was from Brooklyn, and Captain Tippett said that the Los Angeles Police Department had been informed by their East Coast counterparts that he had gang associations. He also was facing federal charges of transporting a stolen Rolls Royce across state lines, and for a time wore an ankle monitor because of a weapons charge. But Captain Tippett said there was no indication at this point that a rival gang from the East Coast had come to Los Angeles to target him. Captain Tippett also said the police department was examining leads, and because the neighborhood of expensive homes was blanketed in cameras, they were also poring over large batches of video. Also, it was said that there were actually witnesses. The only issue is that police say that their sources are not trustworthy and that people are mixing up stories. Also, law enforcement made it clear that some homeowners in the area who had security camera footage would not allow them to see. This is very suspicious and revealed just how deep this murder case may be. This is where Takashi 6 ix name comes into play. 6 9 was arrested back in 2018 on some serious federal charges, including racketeering. The rapper had been associated with the Nine Trey Blood Gang from Brooklyn, New York, who were infamous. The gang was allegedly tied to many crimes throughout the state of New York, including drug trafficking and murders. Jeffrey S. Berman, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, said in a statement at the time that the Nine Trey had wreaked havoc on New York City, engaging in brazen acts of violence. The indictment alleged that Hernandez had participated in an April 2018 robbery of rival gang members and that he had been among a group who agreed to shoot someone who had disrespected the Nine Trey. That was, of course, Chief Keefe. 6ix9ine pleaded guilty to nine counts of racketeering and conspiracy, firearms offenses, and narcotics trafficking. He cut a deal with federal prosecutors and, in September, took the stand as a star witness against high-ranking Nine Trey members. He also was involved in the murder of Pop Smoke. Takashi 6 9 was affiliated with the Nine Trey Bloods from Brooklyn, who are a well-known collective of gangsters. Nonetheless, New York has always been divided by gang feuds, and it got in the way of their music scene. Pop Smoke was associated with a Crip affiliation from Brooklyn. Known as the Wu, Pop Smoke would often shout out his alliances tag, Big 092, MLBOA, and claim that his set is 823. Pop was on the rise in Brooklyn, many even deemed the rapper to be the new king of New York. His rapid rise to fame and love in the industry was something fans across the world enjoyed. He was instantly becoming one of New York's most groundbreaking artists. Takashi, on the other hand, had already had his spell as the alleged king of New York before he tarnished his own reputation. With that being said, Takashi very well heard of Pop Smoke while in prison and was aware of the takeover. Where does he get involved though? As the Nine Trey Bloods have been dealing havoc in Brooklyn for a while, they do not have a strong relationship with any Crips. Pop Smoke, of course, was a Crip. Police speculate that Pop Smoke was murdered by some counterparts from the East Coast, particularly a rival gang. Bloods and Crips are the most infamous two gangs known for their hatred of one another. With both of the rappers having very strong personalities, the two could have clashed from a distance. One thing to be noted, though, is that Pop Smoke's case was left in the dark with many key pieces of information missing. With the lack of cooperation from witnesses, this could have been an inside job from the Nine Trey Bloods all the way from New York. The gang has a history in LA after a shooting took place involving them a while back. The police are still trying to get to the bottom of Pop Smoke's murder, so they say. With Takashi being a free man and him telling law enforcement everything in court, they may be working with the superstar to keep things low key so that it does not stir up groundbreaking drama. Takashi 6 9 is now a free man, but is now in danger from gangs himself. He did end up testifying against the well-renowned Blood Gang, which in turn tarnished his status and labeled him as a rat to the rest of the industry and, realistically, the world. Takashi 6 ix return has already been staggered by safety issues, and he is continuing with his bodacious ways of bragging and trolling on the internet. A lot of things are not adding up in the case of Pop Smoke's murder, which gives people the idea that a rival gang from New York did indeed kill him. Bloods and Crips are very against one another, and Pop Smoke has fallen victim to his gang affiliation. It is very unfortunate considering he was loved by so many and only had real success in the industry a few months prior to his murder. Bashar Jackson had a lot of promise for a young rapper, but the culture has failed us once again, allowing such a talent to have his career cut short. Takashi 6 9 on the other hand, is continuing right where he left off after being arrested and is releasing new music and trolling new people. New York seems to be a hot spot in the industry right now, but without unification, they might struggle to have a strong presence in the music game for a while. Thanks for tuning in today at Lime Report, where we covered proof that 6 9 was a part of Pop Smoke's death. 
Watch until the end to find out how Takashi 6 9 may be directly involved with the murder of the young Brooklyn rapper, Pop Smoke. Do you think that Takashi 6 9 was let off the hook too easily by the feds? Let us know what you believe in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to ensure that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Lime Report.